So you know what? I did write about Ariana Grande, and I did write uh -huh. about the abusive, bigoted, Those pieces were a little smarter than your piece about threatening the, the sovereignty States. of a whole religion. All right, I gotta go. You should stick to the thigh-high boots. You're better at that. Turn down for what? So if you've been on the internet for a few hours, chances are you've seen Tucker Carlson debate former Teen Vogue call Miss Lauren Duca. I call her a former Teen Vogue call Miss as if that's her claim to fame instead of debating or rather getting thrashed by Tucker. Anyways, Lauren has since moved on to working for MTV News, but that's not her only job. She'll also be teaching a course at New York University this summer that's literally called The Feminist Journalist. Alright kids, let me teach you how to inject political bias into an institution that's already destroyed by political bias. Yay! Seriously, get a load of this syllabus. Lauren says media coverage of our current political climate has been plagued by the mental napalm that I call both sidesism. This is a kind of classic he said, she said form of journalism where the reporter tries to give both sides of an issue, even if one side is completely bogus. Yeah, but it's completely bogus according to you, Lauren Duca, the chick who's tried to sell Marxist propaganda to children interested in celebrities the same way parents sometimes slip vitamin pills into dino chicken nuggets. The point is, there's journalism, and then there's commentary. I'm not saying one is better than the other, but why are you trying to dilute the objective one? Anyways, Lauren Silbus says the truth is not a math equation. In the midst of the ongoing American dumpster fire, there is, I believe, only one side to journalism, and it is motivated by building a truer, more equitable democracy. And then she calls feminist journalism a moral necessity. Aha! There is the condescension. I was wondering when we'd get there. As for the truth not being a math equation, she's right. The truth isn't always black and white, which is why it's all the more important that you tell all sides of a story. As for the equitable democracy part, don't let that wash over you as some meaningless platitude. Make no mistake, when Lauren says equity, she means equality of outcome, not opportunity. So yeah, feel free to take this NYU class if you want to learn how to be a feminist propag- I mean, feminist journalist. But whatever you do, don't bring up Martin Shkreli. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshaw. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.